Today is December 7th. It's a day that even 79 years later is still remembered as a day that a surprise attack was carried out against the U.S. military bases at Pearl Harbor. There's a solemnity about our remembrance as we think of the lives that were lost and about the fact that this was the event that finally drew the United States into World War II. For me, it's a day of thinking about my dad. He was there that day, a young army private just coming off guard duty when the attack began. I think about how he must have felt, what he might have been thinking, only a few short months after being drafted. A farm boy who'd never really even been away from home before, now in the midst of a conflict that surely he could not have fully understood. And there were thousands of others like him. That war was the last time that the United States was involved in something that called upon all of its citizens for an indefinite period of sustained sacrifice and commitment. It was not only those in military service who were involved, but everyone was involved. Everyone played their part. And now, Everyone is once again being called upon to play their part in a great struggle. Once again, some are in positions of, of greater involvement. Our doctors and nurses, workers in long-term care facilities and others are, are on the front lines. Some small business owners have suffered tremendous loss and the families of the fallen have experienced the greatest of loss. But even those of us not so deeply affected are involved. We each have our own role to play in this real life drama. Psalm 27 begins with these words. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? There are those who have been using this passage and others like it to say that Christians should not fear. And so we shouldn't concern ourselves with protective measures against COVID-19. But that requires taking verses like this completely out of their context. And more importantly, I think, is that it requires ignoring completely the greater call of Scripture to love our neighbors as ourselves. I believe it is clear that in these times, one of the best ways that we can love our neighbors is to do everything we can to slow and to stop the spread of this virus so that fewer of our neighbors get sick, so that fewer of our neighbors die. The Kentucky Council of Churches is a consortium of church denominations and judicatories that work together cooperatively on a range of issues. And on this issue, we are united. Please wear a mask. Maintain social distancing. Avoid crowded places. Love your neighbors. For as long as it takes, keep loving your neighbors. And in the meantime, this Advent season, be encouraged by these closing words from Psalm 27. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take courage. 
wait for the Lord.